Hi, Dr. Tom Hansen here at the Playbook Academy in Tampa, Florida with the three, I don't know if the most powerful words in all of baseball, I love you would be pretty powerful, but we don't usually go there, <laughs> um, but it would be good. Three most powerful words that occur to me today anyway, uh, let it go, let it go, let it go. Baseball, I mean, I tend to think in terms of oh, the mental game, you got to build confidence, got to um, get add things. I need more of this. I need more of that. No, the most important thing by 80-20 rule, at least, is letting go. You might remember performance equals potential minus interference. And the interference part minus interference part is what I would say is the 80% of the whole thing of, of performance. And that means you're able to let it go. Last night, watching the Red Sox raise twice. Twice, Red Sox um, uh, runners were clearly out, according to the replay, um, but they were called safe. So, yeah, you can argue, but never really does anything, almost never, never does, it does anything, not on a judgment call like that. You're not going to get a reversal. But then, for the raise, what do you need to do? Let it go. you got to be able to let it go and get locked in on this because it's going. otherwise it's going to build up. The announcers were right to say um, the one inning, for example, where the Rays had bases loaded and didn't score. It just didn't seem like they were going to really come up with a big hit or catch a break or something for the whole series. Um, and it's, oh, it's a big inning for Cobb going out now. It's a challenge here because it's easy to get frustrated. They're already behind three. Uh, they're already behind. And then sure enough, he has trouble. Why? Because he wasn't really able to let it go that we didn't score. It's like, hey, we're not scoring any runs. I'm not getting any run support. Got to be able to let it go, 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 let it go. To be able to just throw and just play the game as it is, which is you're in now the fifth inning, I think, and you're pitching. You just got to throw. It's about this pitch. <laughs> Everything else that's happened before, you got to be able to let it go. And this is a little big life philosophy as well. Um, if you're, for example, lying in a hospital bed and you're upset about t different things, uh, we have all kinds of worries and concerns and tension in your body and focus on, hey, what can I control right now? Best thing I could maybe do is just think, you know what? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. At, the, at a stoplight, at a anything, fine, just notice that uh, I'm picking up. Uh, let it go. Let it go. You know, I, that's, I had to work on it last night. I had I needed Atlanta to win in the football pool <laughs> last night and they lost at the last second. It was a little hard to go to sleep right after that uh, because I, so the challenge, hey, let it go. It's over. Let it go. What can I do about it? Nothing. How fast can you let stuff go? That's really the big skill um, that makes a difference in baseball and in the rest of life. And how do you get good at a skill? You practice. You practice. So anything off to the right here, if you're on my blog, um, is a way to help you practice and let things go. But the takeaway, if you just want to take away is, hey, notice something, hey, you know, let it go, let it go, <laughs> the three most powerful words, uh, at least today, <laughs> in baseball.